Good morning, everybody. So welcome again to the contract law. And this one we will discuss about some legal matter of contract law. So if you have any question, please contact us at the National Institute of Intellectual Property and Competition, NIIPC, Winter Kuhn Report, October 2021. In this section, we go into see the implementation, modification, and supplementation of the contract, some basic principle of the contract, specific contract performance clauses, agreement on the penalty for breach of the contract, the damages to compensate it for breach of a contract, performance of the contract upon the basic chain of circumstances, amendment to contract, termination of contract, cancellation unilateral termination of performance of contract, limitation, and conclusion. For the first, we go into see implementation of contract. Performance of a contract means that obligor must fulfill its obligation to the other party. An obligation to be performed can be an obligation relating to property or reforming certain job. In some cases, the work to be committed to in a contract is expressed and work not done. The goal of contract performance, after all, is to satisfy the need of the party concerned. Going to see the scenario one. Law firm SCL, China contract for legal consulting services with investor G1 on implementation following four steps. Apply for an investment certificate, proposing a land lease on behalf of investor. The representative of investor negotiated with the general contractor to be a factory. So is the scope of both work complete we know you have an answer, very easy. Basic principle of civil law. A contract is really a civil transaction. It would feel much likewise adhere to the norm of a civil contract. Article three of the civil court 2015 state, every person shall be equal in civil relation, may not use any reason for unequal treatment to others and enjoy the same protection policy of law regarding moral rights and economic rights. This person established and society could feel and terminate his or her civil rights and obligation on the basis of freely and voluntarily entering into commitment and or agreement. This commitment or agreement that does not violate regulation of law and is not contrary to social ethics, shall be bound by contracting party and must be respected by other entity. On so the article define some basic principle of civil law. Each person must establish, exercise, fulfill, or terminate his her civil right and obligation in the principle of goodwill and honesty. The establishment, exercise, and termination, civil right and obligation might not infringe national interest, public interest, 
lawful right and interest of all the person. This person shall be liable for his or failure to fulfill or incorrect fulfillment of any civil obligation. However, the law doesn't define what is public interest and a national interest. So that's depend on case by case basis. The new point and principal contract performance. We can see some change between the civil court 2005, 2015. So I'm sure you have an answer. It's very easy. So look back to civil court 2005, article 412 and article 3 of the civil court 2015. Specific contract performance clauses. A bilateral contract is a contract whereby each party has obligation to others. Clause 1, article 402 state. The party which is required to perform this obligation first hand the right to postpone the performance of such obligation. If the property of the other party has substantially decreased in value such as if obligation is not able to perform as undertaken until the other party is able to perform this obligation has an invalid. The party which is required to perform this obligation less has the right to postpone performance of such obligation once for due to each party, which were required to perform this obligation but failed to do so when such obligation failed. Scenario 2. Answer the question. When a company becomes insolvent, does company time have the right to expand the performance of the obligation to transfer the right and register company B? Why? So just take a few minutes to answer the question. I know it's a very easy example, so just do it. Agreement on penalty for breach of contract. Penalty for breach of contract means an agreement between a party in a contract whereby the party breaching obligation must pay a sum of money to the party who writes a breach. The amount of penalty of breach shall be as agreed by the party unless otherwise provided by relevant law. Of course, it may not exist some proportion governed by law. The party may agree that party breach of obligation must only be subject to the penalty for breach without having compensated for the loss and damages. So now we need to distinguish the different penalty, very, very different to punish people and compensate, it's compensate for the loss and damages. If you want to follow any other differences, please follow my following video on YouTube channel. Or must be subject to the penalty for breach and also pay compensation for loss and damages. Where the party have agreed on the penalty for breach out, but do not have an agreement on both penalty for breach and compensation for loss and damage, the party breach on obligation shall be required to be subject to the penalty for breach only. Scenario 3. Read case. So, what do you think? What is the relationship between compensation and law and damage? That's a common on penalty and some judicial practice. If you have time, please refer to my book on commentary on civil litigation and contract litigation. It has been published recently.
The damage should be compensated for breach of contract. The damage should be compensated for breach of contract relation. It is in, in accordance with clause two of this article. The obligees may demand compensation for damage which suppose benefit that will enjoy the contract offer. The obligee also may request the obligor to pay the cost incurred due to its non fulfillment of contractual obligation, which will not overlap with the compensation for damages for contractual benefit. At the request of obligee, the court may compel the obligor to pay spiritual damages to the obligee. The damages shall be decided by the court according to the content of case. Scenario four. Please read the case. So if you understand a theory, you can answer very easily. What do you think? The Trump company have to come and say, Siri, sir, for damage? Is the compensation for damage judgment beside outside of contract? And lastly, does the trial practice apply provision on compensation for damage outside the contract settle? We know that you can answer. Come on. Performance. So the contract will go on a passive chain of circumstances. So in some circumstance case, contract may not perform. Some scholars have argued that the COVID-19 may be the curse and it cause some problems of chain of circumstances. Main dispute going on. So that still depends on the situation. We define contract, what is the chance of circumstances? It's not very easy to define. The chain of circumstances shall be deemed basic when it's meet or following condition, or the following condition. That means extremely difficult. First, the circumstances change due to objective reason occur after conclusion of contract. At the time of concluding a contract, the party could not foresee a chain of circumstances. The circumstances change just greatly. That if the party know in advance, the party had not been concluded or concluded, but with completely different content. The continuation of contract without a chain in contract would cause seriously damage to one party. The party having interest adversely affected has adopted all the necessary measures in its ability, in accordance with the nature of a contract, cannot prevent or maximize, minimize the chain of effect. So, very, very difficult to compute all these conditions. Perform a contract upon a basic chain of circumstances. If party cannot reach an agreement on a manner of contract within a reasonable period of time, any other party may request a court to. First, Terminate the contract at a specific time. Second, amend a contract to the balance of lawful right of interest of the party due to the chain of circumstances. The court may only decide to amend the contract in the event that the termination of contract would cause greater damage than the court to perform contract if it is modified. See the scenario five. You are listening to the comment on civil law case reported by Nguyen Thai Kung from NIIPC. 
National Entity of Intellectual Property and Competition. So, does a company have the legal authority to approach the court to compel at least company to pay a fine or penalty for violation? So we know that you have the answer. Seven, amendment to contract, Article 421. Party may agree to amend the contract. This contract may be amended as prescribed in Article 420. It's amended contract may also comply with the formality of initial contract. So we need to take note that in practice, the contract is is an important component. Remember, termination of contract. Article 422 state that a civil contract so terminate in any of the self following cases. First, contract has been completed, said for sure. The party shall agree, okay. When a contract is only able to perform by a particular nature person or judicial person having entered into a contract, and that particular nature person die or that judicial person ceases or assists. The contract cancel or unilaterally terminated and five, six, seven. Pay attention, we have some other circumstances provided by law. Cancellation contract. A party had a right to cancel contract shall not be liable to compensate for damage in any of the following cases. A, a violation of contract by all the party give right to cancellation as agreed by the party. B, the other party seriously violate the obligation in contract. C, all the circumstances as provided by law. So, extremely difficult to explain what are the circumstances provided by law. Serious violation means to fail to fulfill the obligation properly by the party leading to failure to achieve the purposes of entering into a contract by the other party. And lastly, a party canceling contract must notify the other party immediately of a cancellation and must compensate if the failure to notify causes damage. What about the consequences of cancellation contract? When a contract is canceled, Contract is void from the time of signing. Party do not have to fulfill obligation agreed upon except for agreement on fine and violation, compensation, and settlement of dispute. And then the party must return to its order what it has received after deducting from reasonable cost, contract performance, and cost of preservation and development of property. So we have a small mistake and the word cancel in the first, first sentence. So we have also some case the agreed party shall be compensated due to breach of contract and settlement of a consequent of cancellation of contract related to personal rights so comply with the court and all the relevant law provision. Question. Legal consequences of invalid civil contraction and consequences of cancellation of contract. So that is true, conference. Two conditions very different, invalid and cancellation. Okay. When you cancel, you cancel. Invalid. So what is the case? So if you skim a lot, very easy to answer this question. I know that question is easy for you, but uh, it's better to see from a very easy question. I like easy question. Some specific causes of contract cancellation. Article 424, due to late performance of obligation, where the obligor failed to perform the obligation that obligee requests in a reasonable period of time, but the obligor still failed to perform, the obligor may cancel the contract, all right? So, if due to the nature of contract or by the will of the party, the contract will not achieve the objective, if it is not performed within a certain time limit, so time is goal, time is very important, but the obligor failed to perform the contract over an expired day and set time limit. Obligee had a right to answer the contract without adhering to the scope one of this article. Due to inability to perform, Article 425, Civil Court 2015, where the obligor cannot perform part of all of its obligations to make the purpose of the obligee may not be riches, the obligee may party cancel contract and claim damages. 
So we have some case of loss of damage property. What about the losses or cost damages to property being checked to contract, cannot be refunded or compensated by all the party, or cannot be repaired or replaced with the same type of property in all the party maintains the contract? Question. What has become synonymous with the concept of property? Illustrate some example. If a contract cancel without ground, the party is considered to breach of obligation. All right. And then we got into the issue of civil liability to contract in relation without ground. So I know it's very easy you can answer this question. Now we talk about unilateral termination of performance of a contract. A party had a right to terminate unilaterally the performance of a contract without any compensation but damage when a party violates obligations seriously. If so, agree by the party or so provided by that. Second, a party terminating unilaterally the performance of a contract must notify the other party immediately in its termination of a contract and must compensate if the value to notify causes damage. And then we have some uh, condition where performance contract terminated unilaterally, the agreed party shall receive compensation and then have a fifth condition. So please have a look. So the party also may agree on a matter of conflict resolution, so the arbitration of court. I also have some lecture about, about arbitration law, so please follow the link on YouTube and then let's cover some material. And lastly, the limitation period for initiating legal action with respect to contract. The limitation period for initiating legal action to request a court to resolve a dispute relating to contract is three years from the day on which party in time to request now or should know that their lawful right and interests are infringed in compliance with the civil procedure court 2015 requirement. So we have already learned about everything about this matter. The first implementation, modification, and supplementation contract, some basic principle of civil contract, specific contract performance clauses, agreement of penalty for breach of contract, damage to be compensated to breach of contract, performance of contract upon the basic chain of circumstances, amendment of contract, termination, cancellation, unilateral termination, and limit period for initial legal action with respect to contract and some conclusion. So that's everything about a contract law. You can see that contract is an agreement between a party and a very, very easy subject. And you also have the right and obligation of party when you want to enter into a contract. And remember, we have something which we call the good faith and basic principle of civil law. So that is the case. So thank you. If you have any other information, please contact us at National Institute of Intellectual Property and Competition. We take a report from Institute of Intellectual Property and Competition, October 2021. 20, Thank you.